Sometimes people say, well, what is the uh, business model for uh, Mars? Um, and sometimes they think, well, can we, can you mine Mars and bring things back? And like, that is not a realistic business model for Mars because that, it's always going to be far cheaper to mine things on Earth than, than, than Mars. Um, but I do think that there's a business model where if you can reduce the cost of a flight to Mars or moving to Mars um, to around the cost of a middle-class home in California, so maybe to around half a million dollars, then, then I think you would have enough people who would, who would buy a ticket uh, and move to Mars to be part of creating a new planet uh, and be, you know, be part of kind of the founding team of a new civilization. There's seven billion people on Earth now, there'll be probably eight billion by the midpoint of the century. Um, so if, even if one in a million people decided to do that, that's still 8,000 people. Um, and, uh, and I think probably more than one in a million people will decide to do that. So that, that's what I think is sort of the Mars business model, if you will. Um, and then ultimately Mars can probably export uh, intellectual property like software and inventions and things like that. If you can sort of beam it back with photons, that's, that's sort of the bit.